Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching my talk. My name is Wenya Zhang. I'm a PhD student from Ohio State University. Today, I'm going to talk about TS Better, uncovering attacks in Ethereum from transactions. This is a joint work with my co first author, Xiao Quan Jiang, and my two advisors, Dr. Injian Jiang and Dr. Zhi Jiangli. There are three motivations in this research. The first motivation is that smart contracts are immutable after they are deployed. So smart contract code cannot be changed after deployment. If there are some bugs in the smart contracts, no one can change them and no one can remove these bugs. The second motivation is that smart contract attacks can cause huge financial losses. For example, reinterest attack once cost $15 million loss. And after deployment, users, including attackers, can interact with them by calling functions. Specifically, a call is a transaction, which has some metadata, such as the sender, that is the user or the attacker, the receiver, that is a smart contract, the value to be sent, and so on. In addition, attackers can utilize bugs in a smart contract to do attacks and cause severe results. Thus, it's important to detect attacks and help users avoid such huge financial losses. The third motivation is that few works focus on transactions. To detect attacks, many works have been done. A large body of researches focus on smart contracts. However, there are only two works focusing on transactions, as far as we know. In fact, transactions can be real-world attacks. Only transactions have forensic information, such as the addresses of the users, addresses of attackers, the, the money that be stolen, and so on. By performing analysis on transactions, it help us to detect real-world attacks. Based on these motivations, we have three goals. The first goal is to identify real-world attacks. By doing so, I want to detect attacks based on transactions rather than the smart contracts. The second goal is to provide a generic and logic-driven framework. In other words, I want to can detect various kinds of attacks, not only range with attack, but also others. The third goal is to, pro to perform forensic analysis on the attacks. Since our detection result is not a simple yes or no, but a detection report, we can utilize these reports by performing forensic analysis, and hopefully, we can get some interesting results. To achieve these goals, we built TS Better, the first generic and logic driven framework for identifying real world attacks on assumed transactions. There are four components in TS Better. Let me show the details. The first of two components, Trace Extractor and Execution Flow Graph Generator, they are designed to extract dependencies. For Trace Extractor, it replaces transactions, collects traces, and then stores the traces into a trace database. To express the control flow more explicitly, Execution Flow Graph Generator uses Execution Flow Graphs and extracts data and code information from the transactions into a graph. For a third component, Logic Relation Builder, is designed to encode dependencies and extract logic relations. It first passes the graphs into an intermediate representation, and then extracts logic relations into a logic relation database. Our last component, Attack Detector, that is used to detect attacks by querying logic relation database with related detection rules and generate a type report. To solve the challenge that transaction volumes can be huge, a type detector is designed for utilization. In other words, large relations of transactions are only generated once but can be queried as many times as the user wants to. After introducing TS Better, it comes to an evaluation part where I choose the one month data site starting from January 2019 to February 2019. With so many transactions, we cannot take all of them to analyze. So 
we have evaluated around 10 million transactions on three attacks, green trace attack, and charcoal attack, and suicidal attack. With so many transactions, we believe that it's representative to cover the various situations under our experiment. And for the reinterest attack, I only introduced it due to a time limit. Here is the example code of the victim smart contract. There is a function which will balance that is used to withdraw user money. And logic here is to first check whether the user has enough money. If so, the contract will transfer money to a user and uh, subtract amount from a related variable, user method sender. This variable represents a user money and specifically, method sender means a user. However, if the user is an attacker B, it has smart contract code and calls the victim smart contract A. This function function withdraw balance, then there will be a reinterest attack. The workflow is like this. First, in the victim smart contract, there is a transfer. After transfer, victim A calls attacker B and attacker B re-enters victim A. At this position, the second transfer will happen and it will be succeed since the variable user method sender is now changed. And if check will be passed, then the money will be stolen. This is a re the attack. To detect the re attacks, we use the concept of inconsistent state Having at least one inconsistent state is a necessary condition to detect reinterest attacks. There are two requirements. The first requirement is read if dependency. It means that there should be a variable like a user method sender. It's used in the if else branch and decides the control flow. The second requirement is read write dependency. In this requirement, the variable user method sender is used in the second transfer and changed after first returning to the first transfer. After getting to know what the reinterest attack is, we have presented the experiment results in this table. As we mentioned, we have evaluated around 10 million transactions and only 3.5 percent did not finish due to a terminal. And finally, TS Butterfly did around 3,000 transactions as re the attacks. In addition, we compared TS Better with other tools, such as Serum, Securify, Mendo, and GitHouse. After getting to know the evaluation part, we have come the forensic analysis on the experiment results. The first aspect is the NIS which is a number of inconsistent states, referred to as NIS. From the figure, we can see that most of the transactions have less than 30 NIS. Second, we can list the top five victim smart contract addresses. By showing these addresses, we can help users to avoid such attacks and not calling them. We also did a case study on those smart contracts, which were were famous in the reinterest attack to present its NS distribution and reinterest distribution. From the diagram, we can see that all the reinterest attacks on top happened in the year 2016. The reason is that people realized that smart contract is vulnerable and no one would call them after that. In addition, we have other experiments. Please refer to our paper. Next, let me introduce the related work. Our related work includes analysis of smart contracts, transactions, and form verifications. We have highlighted the difference between TS Better and other related tools. I'm going to ignore details here. Please refer to a paper. To summarize, I have presented the TS Better, the first generic and logic-driven framework for identifying real-world attacks on Ethereum transactions. We also evaluated our system with a huge number of transactions on several attacks. We also performed the forensic analysis on them and obtained some interesting results. The source code is available that is in the link. Please feel free to contact us by this email address. 
Thanks for listening. I will ask questions later.